All right, here we go with our video, 4.5 covalent substances. And these are going to be different in many cases, the opposite of the properties for ionic substances. Okay, so we're going to talk about some simple covalent molecules. Important thing to remember, covalent bonds are strong. However, the forces between covalent molecules are weak. So where the forces between ionic molecules are strong, the forces between covalent molecules are weak, which leads to certain properties, like low boiling point and melting point. Right? Ionic, things like salts, are going to have a high boiling point and melting point. Covalent substances have low. Opposite. So covalent substances tend to be gas or liquid at room temperature. Ionic substances tend to be solid at room temperature. Opposite. Covalent molecules don't conduct electricity. Ionic, when they're in a liquid phase, whether it's liquid or aqueous, do conduct electricity. Covalent molecules don't usually dissolve in water. Ionic stuff. Okay, so they're very opposite. All right, so here, right, some examples. Water is covalent. However, it's polar, so it'll dissolve in water. Ha, ha, ha. Carbon dioxide is covalent, but it is nonpolar. We're going to get more into that a little bit later. But carbon dioxide has a harder time dissolving in water. It can, but it just has a harder time. Oil, right? Covalent molecules do not dissolve in water because it's not polar. Let's see if you have something like chlorine. Right? Cl, Cl, covalently bonded, is a gas at room temperature. Oxygen, double bonds, O2, a gas at room temperature. Bromine. Br, Br, oops, sorry, Br, Br, single bond, a liquid at room temperature. Now you have some exceptions. If you have really large covalent molecules, things like sand, quartz, diamond, right? These have a lot of covalent bonds, right? Diamond is basically just carbon forming a whole network, and 3D too, so it has a diamond shape, and that's due to there being lots of covalent bonds all linked together. So large covalent molecules can have a high melting point and a boiling point because of the strength of a whole lot of bonds holding them together. However, they still don't conduct electricity. Alright, question time. Draw and name F2. Uh, you need to know the general properties, not the exceptions we saw on the last slide, but you need to know the gem general properties of covalent molecules, which of the following are general properties. All right. If you can't answer these, go back and watch it again. All right, that's the end. I will see you guys at school.